well, I do feel an aspect of the Conservative leadership race that's been somewhat underestimated is the extent to which, and we've seen the research evidence of this, that many Conservative voters and Conservative members uh, still support Boris Johnson. We saw that petition to get Boris on the leadership ballot. And many not happy at the way that Boris uh, was ousted. And so I think you've seen that play out in some of the membership hustings, uh, a bit of hostility towards uh, Rishi Sunak, who of course resigned uh, as Chancellor, uh, some unhappiness from Conservative members. And I do think, you know, Boris Johnson's influence with many Conservative supporters will continue, has continued throughout this leadership race. Nadine Dorries, uh, one of those, of course, very loyal to Boris Johnson, uh, talking about this article uh, this weekend, saying Liz may have had drinks with MPs, but she did not resign her job, walk away, uh, campaign with MPs for votes, register a website and was not campaign ready or part of a planned coup. She claims that Richie Sunak was, and she says that Dominic Raab can't rewrite facts. Of course, Raab is backing Rishi Sunak. Now, when Rishi Sunak was recently asked uh, about Boris Johnson, if he'd spoke to him, uh, he actually said, I haven't, I've messaged and called, but unsurprisingly, he hasn't returned my calls. Uh, Boris was actually asked about this. This is what he had to say. Are you going to be uh, answering Rishi Sunak's calls? What? He's been texting you, trying to get, to get in touch with you. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the... I, I think that's one of those, that's one of those Westminster questions uh, that doesn't t- change the, the price of fish. And there are plenty of things that do change the price of fish, not least the price of energy, uh, but, but that is not one of them. I bring all this up because I actually think, you know, all of this, this dynamic, the Boris dynamic in the le- leadership race uh, is in Liz Truss's favour. I do think, as I said, with a lot of Conservative members, they will refuse to back at Sunak on the basis of the events that transpired. As for Boris Johnson, of course, will he remain as an MP? Will he leave Parliament? Could he be in a Liz Truss cabinet? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I certainly think the Boris snub of Sunak is a significant dynamic in the Conservative leadership race. And indeed, is one of the many reasons I think that Liz Truss is the heavy favourite now to become the next uh, Prime Minister. And I want to know from you in the comments below, guys, you know, if you had the choice of Boris, Sunak or Truss, would you still be backing Boris? Let me know in the comments below. Do go and check out my Brexiteer Bulletin newsletter. I will put a link down below. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.